Hello, I'm Kyle Reams, and welcome to our first sports report for the year. Today, we will be covering football, boys water polo, field hockey, girls tennis, girls volleyball, and cross country. Let's get started. The varsity football team won a nail biter in their home opener last Friday, edging past Venice 35 to 28. After a shutout loss to Birmingham in week one, the Wolverines rebounded in a big way. Quarterback Marshall Howe threw four touchdown passes, including a late fourth quarter throw on fourth down that put them up for good. The hero of the game was receiver and safety Brendan Kang, who scored two receiving touchdowns and deflected a pass to the end zone on the last play of the game. The team looks to keep rolling when they face Crespi tonight at home at 7 p.m. Reigning CIF Division I champions, the boys' water polo team started off the 2019 year strong by defeating St. Francis in a lopsided 20-1 victory. The team will look to continue their success in their second league game against Crespi today at 4 p.m. The game will be played at the Copsies family pool. Girls field hockey defeated Edison 4-2 on Tuesday. Sam Ye scored two goals, and Aster Wu and Rachel Brown each had one. The team's overall record is 3-0 at the time of this taping. To see the results from last night's game against Newport, check the HW Athletics app. Come support the team on Thursday, September 12th on Ted Slavin Field in their game against Huntington Beach or in their first league game against Thousand Oaks on September 19th. The school released its first plans for its River Park campus, currently known as Weddington Golf and Tennis. These include creating two fields, one track, one gymnasium, one swimming pool, and eight tennis courts. For more information, check out Lindsay Wu's article in the most recent edition of The Chronicle. Girls Tennis played their first match against Westlake High School on Wednesday. Results are posted on the HW Athletics app and website. With three freshmen and a senior joining the team, senior Maddie Dupay says she's excited for the season, as the team bonded during practices throughout the summer. The team faces Mira Costa at Weddington next Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. For the first time, HWTV will broadcast girls tennis on October 24th, senior night, against Marymount. Girls volleyball won their most recent match against Oakwood. The Wolverines won 3-0. The team now has a 9-6 record and has won four out of its last five games. You can check the HW Athletics app for the results of last night's game against Westlake. The next game is the start of league play and is on September 9th at home versus Flint Ridge Sacred Heart. Boys and girls cross country competed in their first meet of the 2019 season at the UC Santa Barbara Invitational. Isabel Lawrence placed eighth in the varsity competition. Colin Fields and Natasha Spice finished ninth and 16th respectively in the short course race. The team's next competition will be at the Woodbridge Invitational on September 21st. And that's it for this week's sports report. I'm Kyle Reams, see you next time.